What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a PS2 emulator for Android called Ether SX2. Now, this is a great emulator, but I have to let you know that they have stopped development for this emulator, which is a shame. They said it was due to complaints, demands, and threats. But even so, this is still the best way to play PS2 games on Android. The phone I'm gonna be using in this video is the Galaxy S22 Plus, paired with the GameSir X2 Pro controller. Let's get into it. Okay, let's go ahead and open the Play Store. Go up to the search bar and type in Ether SX2. This is what the emulator will look like. Install. Once it's finished, go ahead and hit play. Welcome to Ether SX2. Next. You can read the FAQ if you would like. Next. Now I have a pretty powerful phone, so I'm gonna leave optimal safe defaults checked, but if you have a lower end phone, then you wanna check fast unsafe defaults. This will give you a better frame rate in your games, but the emulator does note that it also may break the games. Now if we scroll down to aspect ratio, I prefer to play my games in 16 to nine aspect ratio. I prefer full screen, but if you guys would like to leave it at the original way the games were intended to be played, which is four to three aspect ratio, then leave it on auto standard. If you scroll down to theme, you have the option to change the emulator theme to light or dark. I prefer to leave it on dark. And then we have GPU renderer. I prefer to leave this on OpenGL for the best performance with this emulator on most Android devices. If you are having slowdowns, glitches, or anything else, I recommend coming back here and changing this to Vulkan just to see if it improves your gameplay. And last, upscale multiplier. Now this is gonna change the resolution of your games. I recommend meeting about halfway at five times. Now, if you get into your games and your games play smooth, then you can up this to a higher number, but if you get in and your games are lagging, then you may wanna come back here and choose a lower number. Next. Now we need to import our BIOS. Now I recommend downloading your BIOS file using a desktop or a laptop. Now I cannot leave the link to this page in the description below, so you would just have to copy this link you're seeing on screen into your browser. Also, you would need 7-Zip to extract the BIOS file once downloaded. I will leave the link to 7-Zip in the description below. This is what the file will look like once you have it downloaded. What you wanna do is right click on the file, go to 7-Zip and extract the PS2 BIOS. Once you have it extracted, you no longer need the zip file, so let's right click and delete. Now you wanna move your extracted BIOS over to your phone. And I recommend creating a new folder on your phone, calling it PS2 BIOS and move this folder into that folder. Now we're gonna head back over to our phone and select import BIOS. Go to my files, internal storage. And we're just gonna locate that folder called PS2 BIOS. There it is, select the folder. Now we have three different BIOS files in here, a Europe BIOS, a Japan BIOS, and a USA BIOS. I'm gonna show you where all three are located. With the first one being right at the top, the PS2 BIOS 3004RV6. This will be our Europe BIOS. Let's select it and then hit done. Let's go back to import BIOS, my files, internal storage, back to that folder and if we scroll down this file scph10000.bin this will be our japan bios there we are we have our europe and japan one more and the usa bios will be scph39001.bin and there we are we have our europe bios japan bios and our usa bios i'm going to select my usa Next, now we need to set up our game directories. This will be wherever you have your PS2 games installed on your phone. Go ahead and click the plus button and locate wherever you have your PS2 ROMs installed on your phone. In my case, I have them in a folder that I renamed PS2 games. There are my three games I have installed. I'm gonna select use this folder and allow. Next. Set up complete and finish. 
Now let's go up to our settings, which is in the top left, three little lines. And let's scroll down to controller settings. Now I will be using a gamepad with this emulator, but if you are using on-screen buttons, then let's go over to touchscreen and go to touchscreen controller view. And you will want to change this from single analog pad to dual analog pad. This way you will actually have two analog sticks as on-screen touch buttons. And if you will be using a gamepad controller like I will, then you will want to change this to none. This way you have no buttons on screen. Or you can just go down to hide with external controller, turn this on, and anytime the emulator detects a controller, it will automatically hide the on-screen buttons. Now let's go over to port 1. And a nice thing about this emulator is that it will detect what type of gamepad you are using with your phone and map your buttons out for you. So if you hit automatic mapping, it will show your gamepad, click on your gamepad, and it will automatically map your buttons. Now, if you're not happy with the layout, you can come down here to bindings. You can see the buttons that are laid out for you. And if you want to change one, all you do is click on it and then hit whatever button on your controller that you want that button to change to. Now let's go back, back up to settings. Now, if you ever download some new PS2 ROMs and you want to get them in the emulator, you want to scroll down to scan for new games if they're somewhere else on your phone and if they're in the same folder containing the rest of your PS2 games select rescan all games and you also have access to your save state manager and the last thing I want to show you is how to add cover art to your games now you will have to go to Google and search for the cover art yourself and you want to save the pictures in the same folder on your phone that contains your games and then you want to hold down on the game you want to select scroll down and select choose cover image so i went to google and downloaded a picture of marvel vs capcom 2 ps2 cover i'm going to select it and there we are that game now has cover art and if you want to change the way your games are displayed on the main menu they come up to the four little squares at the top right and it will change the way your games are displayed now let's go ahead and load up a game and i'll do marvel vs capcom 2. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Times it feels like nobody is right. Yeah. So I'ma figure out what else we succeed and then invest all of my time into that and proceed. Uh.